Hello and welcome back. It's the next day, but I wanted to take a break from pruning these. I did eight of the 11 yesterday, um, so I have three more to go. This one I wanted to stop and show you. This right here is the natural way that the branches want to grow on a Dawn Redwood. They sweep up, kind of arc back a little bit, and then head up. The mature branches all do that. This is the most mature. This one's starting to sweep up. These are still too young and heavy, and they haven't gotten very lignified at the ends. But that is the natural way that a Dawn Redwood wants to grow. This branch shows it a little, this branch shows it a little. So what I wanted to do in my pruning is favor branches like that and those that aren't quite there yet in terms of the positioning to wire them into place. Just temporarily, just to sort of set them until they at least have this kind of arcing, arching um, movement. And then turned up at the end, a little closer to the trunk. Now, I don't know where I'm gonna chop this one yet. Um, I may leave it this tall, I'm not sure, maybe just a little bit. Uh, but that's what I'm going for. So let me go back into, oh, it's the next day. I moved my setting. I used the gray background because um, Many of you commented that it's better than the white one. That's what I think as well. Too bad, the white one's cloth and so it stays in place. This one is plastic and it's blowing around. I fashioned a, um, I don't know, a wind arresting screen around my iPad um, just to try and uh, uh, minimize the buffeting type of wind noise, but you still will be hearing background outside noise. It's a beautiful day today. The greenhouse is kind of hot, so I thought I'd work outside today. All right, let me get uh, started completing the last three. I'll go into fast mode on this one and then just come back when they're all done. Once again, I apologize for the noise in the neighborhood. I'm just going to clean up the trunk a little bit. I wish I had a cameraman to help me. That would be nice. Maybe if I go around the other side, I won't be in front of me. There are buds at each one of these locations that I'm pruning back. And I'm hoping in the end to have a semblance of a trunk. Because you're going to be looking into a forest. And all of this, which is so sparse right now, will come back with a vengeance. In fact, I don't even know, like, the, for instance, this is a young branch right here. This one might just dry up and fall off in the winter time, in which case a new branch will grow, hopefully. But I'm gonna 
make a educated assumption that this is kind of it. This is going to be kind of a large wound here. So I'll clean that up. This is an old transition. that up as well. And I watched a video that had said you can prune back to buds. I'm going to get a close up on the buds because they're not real obvious. Okay, that's that's what they look like. Let's see if we can see them anywhere else. See this branch? I'm not seeing any buds. So I'm assuming this branch will fall off. So this is going to look very different. You know, there's there's buds lower down. There's buds in places. And you can see how the bark kind of splits away from the trunk here. So I'm imagining this is a peeling bark. Here's a little bud at the bottom of this branch. And there's another little bud at the bottom of this branch. And there are buds up along here. Right here and here and you pull these away just kind of pull them so you don't wreck the bud that's there and right now I understand that the buds do grow side by side as opposed to alternating sides but I'm of the understanding that as the tree gets older, that evens out more and um, they grow staggered more than side by side. I didn't want to cut this branch off or this branch off. I would like this to, you know, whoop down a little bit in the spring and then back up. Hopefully I'll get a nice leader here that'll Check the height of that. Now let me finish pruning this. Just to explain what I've been doing. I'm making the fronds shortest at the end of the branches. And as the branches kind of go back and there's multiple fronds on it, I'm cutting them a little bit longer and longer. As I said, these will, will probably fall off, so I'm not that concerned about it. This one I'm just gonna cut back to here. There are no buds, so I'll probably lose that branch. But lose is a relative term, considering these are dis deciduous conifers. Cutting this one back shortest and progressively longer as I go down the stem.
just so that it's not so prone to the wind. These are going to winter outdoors. I'll have them on the ground. I had a comment that my hands are in the way and I should be careful so you can see what I'm doing. I'm doing the best I can. Here's an example, I don't know if you can see this, but here's an example of staggered branching. You got one down here and you got one up there. That's what I'd like to see happening more and more. All right, this is all pruned up. I'm going to wire this up a bit and wire this up a bit. And hopefully the branching that happens in the spring is all suitable to the next growing season. I just trimmed this branch. It looked very much like this one. I wanna walk you through my thought process here. This is gonna sweep up a little bit more. This is gonna sweep down and I have an upward facing bud right here and that's going to be what shoots up next year so starting from that knowing that i'm going to lose all these branches anyway i'm just going to trim them for beauty they'll survive This one's going down. I'm going to shorten it. Maybe it'll reach up a little bit. This is progressively longer. And longer. <clears throat> and longer still. Now I'm just doing that for beauty. This one. I'm probably going to lose this branch. It has no indication that it wants to become a branch. So I'm just going to trim it for beauty. Not very beautiful, but it's going to fall off anyway. All right, coming down. I love this branch and I love where it is. I'm just going to cut the end of this off. Shorten this. Shorten that. Shorten that. That's it. It'll capture the sun for the rest of the season. It's not shading out anything below. I'm clearing all that out so everything has its place in the sun. Next branch. It comes up a little. I'll exaggerate that if this becomes a branch that, uh, yeah, I see some buds, I think. Yeah. All right, if this becomes a branch, it's got that shape that I want which I will accentuate next growing season. I'm just gonna cut this off. I'm gonna pull that away. 
this is the longest frond, so I'm going to make it here, or the shortest, the next shorter. <laughs> and this is the end, so it's the shortest still. Progressively longer. Progressively longer. Giving it like a, a, I don't know, a palm look. The whole idea is to set it up for next season. All right. This is gonna be a beautiful tree, forest tree. This branch, I don't know. I'll get back to it. Okay, this is, <clears throat> this one's a few seasons old. And what has happened to it? Well, it's healthy. I think this, Got too many things coming out of this junction. I'm gonna have to get rid of one, and I think it's this. Leaves a hole, but as my lowest branch, I'm just pruning for a pleasing shape and for nothing else. Hmm. I like how this is turning out. this longer so I'll keep that first ramification but it ramifies into three I'll change that to two and that'll remove some interference from this branch which I'm only doing to get me through this season this is a deciduous conifer all these beautiful needles fall off and these entire branches fall off. So you get tremendous opportunity with this tree. This will probably, this will probably just fall off. I'm just going to shorten it. That's the first time I ever really tried a, a hedge prune approach. Cuts the needles as well. I guess that doesn't matter. That's pretty. All right, this tree is pruned up. Can you see the whole tree? Uh, here is the last and arguably the uh, most vigorous of all of my Dawn Redwoods. These trees are all from two trees in Central Park. I went and ra raided <laughs> for seeds.
and they're all doing really well. So I think the best thing I can do for these trees is to put them into a forest. They're from a like parent. And if I can be a good steward, this has a, t uh, uh, this could be the, the uh, lead tree in the forest. It has an interesting base. And here is that mighty tree looking a little not so mighty anymore. This branch has found its way over that way. So I'm going to coax it back into position with wire. I don't like wiring because I really feel like I'm bad at it. Um, so I'll get some practice. I already had some on the other trees. I gotta get myself set up and I'll show you what these look like after they're wired. All right, I'm gonna to attempt to show you all of the Dawn Redwoods trimmed, some of them wired, not all of them. I figured, let me see what branches they're going to hold on to and which ones they're going to lose. But as you can see, much of the foliage is gone. And these are now much slimmer trees that can more easily fit into a forest planting. And there's more pruning to come. 